Hey everyone, welcome back to End of Pinch. I'm Chris, and happy spring. Man, I'm telling you, I, I know spring technically started like three weeks ago, uh, maybe more than three weeks ago on March 20th, uh, but this is the first time that it's warmed up and didn't feel like it was going to get cold again. Um, hoping that's the case, I'm hoping I didn't just jinx the whole country. Um, I, I, I took kind of a sampling of, uh, of weather across the, the U.S. Uh, right now, and it's all pretty springtime weather in uh, Clearwater, uh, Florida at 78, and Youngsville, Pennsylvania at 74, and Dallas, Texas at 62, and Boston at 49, and Bethpage, Tennessee at 79, and right here on the north central Illinois, Wisconsin uh, state line at 77 and climbing. Absolutely beautiful out. It's been blue skies last few days. Um, got dandelions just exploding across my lawn. Um, it's 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 gonna sound weird to a lot of you guys, but I'm super excited that I get to do uh, yard work. Um, I haven't done yard work since I was a teenager. I, I uh, bounced around houses and uh, I lived in apartments and and stuff like that. And I haven't had a yard to tend to in years, and I love working outside. So really really excited this year. Um, started breaking the cigars out, which uh, which is kind of an internal sign of uh, warm weather coming for me. I've noticed more. Um, the last couple of years that in the colder months in fall and winter, I crave more pipes and in the warmer months in spring and summer, I crave more cigars. And I went through kind of a thing where I didn't smoke for about a month at all. Um, I was having, uh, uh, mouth issues. I think I mentioned in a video and I was, I was afraid I might have, uh, uh an infection in one of my teeth. So I wasn't smoking any pipes until I got that figured out. I uh, went to a dentist, no infection, just uh, some general, you know, didn't take care of myself problems. So uh, so uh, when I finally went back to smoking, I found that uh, I was craving my cigars again. So I broke the Humi out. I've had a few uh, I've had a few this year already. They were all really good. Um, yesterday I sat out in the garage for, man, like an hour and 45 minutes. It's a slow burning smoke, but uh, it's a great time out. The, the Don Pepin uh, Blue Label, the original exclusive of great stick. Um, Speaking of which, real quick side note, um, uh, cigar reviews coming, and I'm looking for uh, suggestions. If you guys have cigars you want to see reviewed, whether they're new or have been out forever, um, I really want to do some serious cigar reviewing this uh, this uh, spring and summer. Um, so I have a short list already of, of my own of uh, sticks I want to go ahead and review. But if you guys are cigar smokers and there's something specific you'd like to see me cover, either drop a comment here below or send an email. Uh, it's my email in the description, boxandpipe at gmail.com. Anyways, so with the uh, with the weather, what a better time to talk about Old Mills Equinox Spring 2016. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, the Equinox, it happens twice a year. It's when the uh, plane of the Earth's equator lines up at the center of the sun, meaning that the duration of night and day are pretty much the same across the world. Um, it happens twice a year, like I said, once in March and once in September. This year's equinox was uh, March 20th, uh, which was incidentally, astronomically at least, the first day of spring. Um, and then the fall one will be September 22nd, uh, sometimes it's the 23rd. Equinox 2016, huge departure from last year's equinox. Uh, last year's equinox, I don't have a description uh, to go off of, but as I recall it, it was bright and fruity and kind of floral. There was a zest of something in it that was used very heavily. Um, and it reminded me a lot of the Rat Bastard, the two came out at about the same time. They were almost variations on each other, and they were both really good stuff. Um, I think I favored the Rat Bastard between the two, but they were both really good. This year's Equinox, uh, if you look at the chef's description, the first thing he says is that it is a uh, significant departure, and that is not an understatement. Um, all right. First of all, let's look at the color. I can do it without dropping any... I did get the small tin. Um, I told you guys my uh, my funds were kind of limited, so I got, I got the small tin. But uh, the color here, it's not going to focus for me. The the color, aside from the occasional light fleck in there, is almost uniformly um, this dark muddy. Uh, it, it's darker than cocoa, but it's not quite black. But I, I described the color almost like wet mud, really dark. And again, aside from the occasional. Uh, light flex in there, almost uniform, which uh, uh, caught my attention. Uh, it was the first thing that caught my attention, given the tobacco bill. 
of uh, Dark Eric Kier Burleys, uh, Piedmont Red Virginias, and Turkish Prelep, those are three tobaccos that, that, that uh, when they cure, are, are very different colors. Um, so the fact that this is all, again, aside from the occasional flex, pretty much uniformly colored and dark tells me that he probably fermented this a little bit longer than he normally does, uh, which should play into the, uh, the uh, flavor profile uh, significantly. So the tin note. Okay, off the bat, I want to tell you guys this is going to be a strange review because I, I do not have a culinary background. Um, this is one of what I would what I would classify as uh, one of the chef's uber complex snuffs. Um, so there's there's a lot of scents that I smell that are probably combinations of things mentioned in the description uh, that I just not having any kind of a culinary background wouldn't know that this and this make this. So coming from a, a layman's perspective, I'm going to tell you just what crosses my mind as, as I smell it and I take it. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, some of the reviewers who have a sharper nose um, uh, for, the, for scent things can, uh, can put reviews up too and, 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 and uh, so, so I can see what they have to say because a lot of what I describe here is not going to make sense when you look at the description, but I'm just going to, this is just what I experienced in the tin note. First thing that hits me is kitchen spices. Like you open the spice cabinet, not cardamom or clove per se, but but kitchen spices. Um, kind of sweet and something that reminds me of rose hips. I I, uh, I made a homemade snuff once, and I think I put a, a recipe for it up on Snuff House at the time. Um, and one one of the things I use, I, I I was sensing the snuff that I made uh, by exposure. Um, instead of actually casing the, the tobacco with anything, I, uh, I kind of took the lazy way out and I would put various herbs and, uh, and spices and things into cheesecloth, tie it up into a ball, and expose the tobacco to that in a jar over, uh, over the course of a long period of time. And one of the best ones that came out is actually using an array of bright Virginias uh, that I exposed to rose hips that I got at a local Whole, whole Foods store um, in the bulk uh, it was like the bulk herbs teas section of the store. And uh, rose hips to me come across as kind of floral and kind of fruity, like a dark fruit um, uh, kind of thing. And, and that's what I got here. I got kitchen spices and rose hips and something sweet. All right. So that's a tin note. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stir some up. I'm hoping you guys can see. I really wish this would focus because I want you to see. See how compacted that is and how much oil is involved here. This uh, this is a moisture level. It's a little bit more moist than the stuff uh, Chef's put out in the last year, but it's a return to the moisture level um, that I came I, I kind of came to uh, to know him by uh, when I first started using Old Mill Snuffs, and uh, it's kind of cool. It's super oily. Um, um, it's still technically I think a medium moisture, but but. Uh, with the oily oil, and oily kind of consistency to it, really clumps. Um, so it's difficult to just pinch it. Um, I'm going to pinch it into a box car because you, you definitely do want to warm, uh, uh, especially the, the complex snuffs that Chef puts out. You want to take the time to warm. Uh, but I'm going to pinch into a box car, which is going to make a giant mess of my fingers because a good deal of this is probably just going to stick right to my, uh, my fingers. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Uh, as I'm warming this pinch, a uh, quick shout out, uh, D. Nieto or D. Nieto, I'm not sure uh, which way you pronounce it, one of uh, uh, my newer subscribers, it is your birthday on Wednesday. Happy birthday, I'm, I, uh, I wanted to put a video out on your birthday, uh, but it's going to be a super busy week, and uh, uh, honestly the rest of today is going to be busy too, I'm going to be out in the lawn the whole day. So a few days early, but happy birthday, uh, be safe. Um, um, anyways, the, uh, the pinch is warm, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it into a box card. Right. Yeah, see, this is difficult because it really wants to just stick to your fingers. I mean, do you guys see what I'm talking about? I, uh, out of that pinch, I got about that much on my fingers, but I still got, you know, don't want to tip it out, but yeah. 
medium full box car. Anyways, salute. Hit away snow. Okay. So in the nose, uh, moderate burn, nothing too heavy, uh, nothing uh, that really persists. The first scent that I get right off the bat is an intense black of uh, an intense black, an intense blast of black coffee and nuts. Um, it's the only thing that I smell for about the first two seconds of it, and then just as quickly it disappears. It's gone, and what's left is this uh, uh, like dark fruit, almost like uh, like black cherries, but it doesn't smell specifically like any fruit. It's just a general strong citrus, but not a citrusy citrus. See, this is where I my lack of culinary um, understanding completely fails me in snuffs like this. But yeah, like a dark fruit. Um, that kitchen spice thing is still there, and I'm pretty sure that's the uh, uh, the cinnamon used probably with a fairly heavy hand. Because again, it's not kitchen spice like like cardamom or clove. It's yeah, that's almost definitely the cinnamon and uh, and uh, uh, dark cherry is really how it comes across to me, like black cherry. Um, oh, I know that it's not. Um, All right, so this snuff does something that, that only a couple others that I've ever had do, and they, they, they were both old mills, where every couple of seconds, the predominant scent hitting me changes. And uh, that's where, again, I'm, I'm totally failing you guys as a reviewer because I can't describe it. Um, I can tell you that overall, the experience is kind of sweet and kind of savory, and it's kaleidoscopic. In uh, in the way it just kind of goes from this to 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 this is it's constantly rotating and it's not in a way it's distracting at all. This this isn't one of those snuffs that you're gonna have to sit and you know meditate to to pick everything out. It's just kind of gonna be hitting you from you know randomly what you notice. Uh, but the overall experience is kind of sweet and kind of savory and and an interesting choice for for a spring equinox snuff because if you were to hand this to me and, and I were to try it and you were to say, all right, assign a season to it, um, late fall is really what hits me. It's absolutely amazing and uh, um, kind of a benchmark for the chef. It, it, it seems like he's, he's kind of starting to return to what I came to know him for um, in the beginning. Uh, uh, but he's really interesting, constantly changing um, uh, profiles, um, and I kind of feel, I kind of feel like by saying that, I'm saying that, uh, that uh, he's gotten boring lately, because he hasn't, but his signature kind of changed, and this kind of feels like a return to old school old mill, uh, which is really exciting if that's the direction uh, he's getting ready to go, um, then, then my ears are definitely perked on uh, future Old Mill snuffs. Um, holy hell, this review is <laughs> I'm over 14 minutes. I gotta go, guys. Um, anyways, enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Be good to each other. Um, uh, violent crime rates tend to go up when the weather starts getting warm. I think that's because people go out and party. So stay home. Be calm. Chill with your families. Uh, mow the lawn. Build a bonfire. It's, uh, it's uh, a great time here to be alive. God bless you guys. Salud.